Hey, this is another demo of Reticulatus, which shows the new STL loader and high performance uh, STL stuff. So I'm going to go in and load a gigantic model. So that was uh, 74,000 polygons in 2.8 seconds, as you can see on the little status update on the bottom. So now we have uh, live updates of uh, the object loading. We have a nice manifold looking, although there's bugs in this uh, object, and also this object has uh, inverted normals. So it uh, does a little bit of cleanup on the loader, and there is a platform simulator to show you where the zero position is for the model. You can see the bottom polygons showing through there a little bit. So there's the devil, uh, 74,000 polygons. We now have zooming in and out. So you can get right in and look at the details, or you can zoom out and view the whole model. Uh, Zooming and panning is nice and fast. And you can keep reloading multiple objects. Hundred thousand polygons, it's not bad. Obviously this one's uh not skined or uh sorry, not rendered appropriately because uh, they've got the axes mixed up. So next up tools to automatically center and flatten. Uh, with the appropriate axis pointing up. And again, we've got really nice, fast rendering. Please excuse the colors. That's going to be replaced with a uh, selectable shader later on. And there's where we sit right now. So uh, my next steps are to make the layers selectable in the top right window here. And we're going to have also a pluggable toolbox, which lives here, which is also tear-offable. Uh, and that toolbox can be populated with things like uh, rotate, uh, automatically center, um, do the slicing, uh, change slice settings, and that's all going to be done using uh, package resources. Uh, so anybody who's familiar with Python and setup tools, they'll be able to generate their own plugins, which are automatically discovered and added into Reticulatus uh, without having to write a plugin or commit anything to my source code. You just write your own plugin and it'll work. And uh, I plan actually to make the entire slicer work that way. So if you want to add a new fill type, or you want to add a new perimeter checker or a post-processor on the G-code, uh, you can do that all as well. But this is what I've got working so far. Thanks for tuning in. I'll give you another update next weekend. Later, all.